Hey guys, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. I am here today to film a quick Friday Reads video talking about the two books briefly that I finished last weekend slash this week and then the three books that I am planning to read this weekend. I am in a weird place because the baby just woke up and she is right there playing. I'm going to try to keep her out of the frame, but you will probably hear some noises and I will certainly be distracted. So we'll see how this goes. May work great. May never happen again. <laughs> we'll see. So um, let's just get into it. The first two books that I finished, or the only two books that I finished, were library books, one of which already went back to the library because it was due. And that was Go Went Gone, uh, written by Jenny, Ur Jenny Urbanbach. And I uh, neglected to write down the name of the translator, so I'm going to try to include that down below because it was... Um, a translated work from the German. This was long listed for the Man Booker International Prize, which is why, uh, that was the baby, which is why I, hi, yeah, I talked about you. Uh, that's why I picked it up. And I'm really glad that I did. I'll talk about it more fully in a wrap up, but um, in, in short, it was about an elderly, not elderly, an older man in Germany who had just retired from his position as a classics professor and became really interested in a group of refugees um, who was protesting uh, very publicly. And the protest was dispelled and the refugee... The settlement where they had been living was disbanded, but um, Richard, the, the main white character in the story, uh, seeks out these refugees and tries to learn about them and about their story. And I liked it because I don't know a lot about refugees in Europe. Um, I mean, I knew that logically it was different than refugees here in the United States just because of the way that borders work and, um, you know, distance works. But I just, I didn't understand how that really worked on a practical level and this book told me all about that in in a pretty neat way so I recommend it um, the second book that I finished was very very different and it is Lake Silence by Anne Bishop this is the I think it's the sixth book in the series uh, it's the other series and the previous books in the series take place in one specific area of this world this is a fantasy book yeah fantasy book uh, it takes place in one specific area with one specific set of characters and this book uh, in this series takes the series into a new direction. It's the same world but just a different part of the world with different characters and the baby is now playing on the heating vent so sorry about that. Um, and I loved it. I hadn't, I knew that this was going to be with different characters and so I wasn't originally planning on reading this book but I'm really glad I picked it up. Again, I'll, I'll go more into depth in, in a wrap up, but I really loved being back in this world. I didn't think that it had made that big of an impression on me, but it really did. So uh, I recommend this series if you're into fantasy and um, you don't mind a bit of kind of werewolves and vampires, but they're definitely done differently than I've seen them before. So I, I recommend it. And now onto the books that I plan to read this weekend. The first is Black Skin, White Masks by Franz Fanon, and it is translated, this is a new translation by Richard Philcox. Um, this is the May selection for Hoda Khotebi's uh, Because We've Read book club, and uh, which is a book club that aims at kind of basically raising awareness about life around the world and different people who look differently. And so I'm really, uh, I'm, I like this selection. So this is the second one, but I like this selection so far that she's had. So um, I'm working through this one. This is uh, difficult to get through. This is a basically a psychoanalytical study of colonized peoples. So it's a little heavy, but I'll report back on how this goes. Um, next, I am reading This Is Where You Belong by Melody Warnick. Uh, my husband and I decided recently that we will not seek out opportunities to move away from our home, if that makes sense. We bought this house two years ago after, um, I mean, moving around a lot, a lot, both separately before we met and then together we've moved around a lot. And we'd kind of anticipated continuing that thread, th um, 
that trend and really decided this past week or so that that's not what we want to do. We really want to stay here and make this work. And so this book is about doing just that, becoming rooted in a place and learning to love the place where you live, which um, finding home wherever you are is the subtitle. And that's what I'm interested in. And so um, I'm excited to use this as kind of a practical application to my life. And then finally, this is Brass, and I'm, for now, I'm not going to try to pronounce that name. I will try to look it up before I do a wrap-up video of this book. I love this book. Uh, this is, this is the only, of the books that I'm currently reading, this is the only fiction book that I'm reading. It's a novel about a working-class mother and daughter in Waterbury, Connecticut. Uh, the mother's... Uh, it's, it's a dual timeline, so the mother's timeline when she's getting pregnant and being pregnant, and then the daughter's timeline as she is about to graduate from high school, uh, or at least that's, I'm about, what, a third of the way through, and that's where the timelines are so far. I don't know how far they will go, um, but uh, it tells a working class story, and I think it's really interesting. We don't... Um, we don't see a lot of working class stories and I grew up in a very working class household. So I see a lot more of myself in this book than I normally see. And I think um, that I'm, I'm interested to see where the, where the story goes. And I'm, what I'd love to find out is if there, if anybody knows of any other books like this, I would love to um, read them as well. Because um, like I said, I'm, I think, working class story through fiction is a really interesting concept that um, I just not come across and that's probably my own like that I'm fully believed that that's my own problem that I just haven't seen them but I want to try to seek those out more not only that it's this is a really beautifully written book uh, I really am enjoying the way things are described and I wouldn't call it beautiful or lyrical but I also don't think that beautiful or lyrical would fit with the story because of the way, it's a working class story, it's gritty. It is dirty, it is gritty, it is unclean. Um, not in a, um, in a way that like there's just grime because that's what happens when you, um, you know, when you work like that. So um, I, I like it, I recommend this one as well. And again, I will, um, wrap up my thoughts on it as I finish it. So hopefully you enjoyed this Friday Reads video. I would love to hear what you are reading this weekend, especially if you're reading any of these or if you have anything that are similar. And uh, I will talk to you later. Bye.